Meant to talk about this earlier in the week, but here we are now and get into it. A court, a federal court has once again struck down Alabama's congressional map. If you missed some of this, the summary is uh, a while back, Alabama Republicans drew this absurdly gerrymandered congressional map that, of course, was in the interest of serving their electoral ends, but clearly violated the Voting Rights Act and was discriminating against black Alabamans, Alabamians, or whatever the term is, and uh, it took away in a very major way black people's voice in Alabama because of the way uh, that the lines were drawn. And so a federal court, and it was reaffirmed by the Supreme Court, found this is violating the Voting Rights Act. This is discriminating against black Alabamians. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Is it Alabamians? I will stick to it. And uh, now or what I should go back, essentially what happened was Alabama Republicans then got that ruling back and were ordered to draw a new map where at least two of their districts had a majority black Alabamians. And they came back and said, okay, cool, and then didn't do it and just drew another map without two majority black districts. Wild. And then, shockingly, a federal court said, Okay, that, now that map violates the Constitution. Stunning. Take a look at this being reported. Second majority black district. In the opinion, the judges say they were, quote, disturbed by the state's actions in this case. A federal court had told Alabama they had to go redraw their districts to include two majority black districts. Alabama came back in did not complete the homework assignment, basically, according to this federal court today. I want to bring in CNN's Joan Piscupic. Joan, bring us up to speed here. Sure, and John, you know, the, this uh, state was told by a special three-judge district court to do it, and effectively, as you said, it didn't do its homework. It didn't do its homework from the same teacher. This is the same three-judge panel that had found that Alabama had likely violated the Voting Rights Act of 1965 by drawing only one district where blacks had the opportunity to uh, elect a candidate of their choice. Al yeah. So, come on, Alabama. Come on. That's ridiculous. And imagine, okay, a federal court. Redraw your map. Two majority black districts have to be drawn. What is the thought process? Okay, if we do half of the homework assignment, as was said by the CNN host, then they'll forget about the other half. We'll redraw the districts, but we won't follow the guideline of two majority black districts. Where did they think that was going to go? So then the same judges said no. And as was noted, disturbing that they would do that. How anti-democratic, discriminatory, and obviously unconstitutional, as was found by this federal panel of judges. So hopefully they will actually change it this time and black Alabamians will get their voice heard in upcoming elections properly. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are able to be uploaded to the YouTube channel, plus get the bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to LukeBeasleyShow.com slash membership. That's LukeBeasleyShow.com slash membership. And there's a link in the description.